Hey everyone, it's uh, Craig Campbell from Pastor Craig's Vintage Cards and I'll just make a video here on a, a set run that I'm working on and had a nice pickup the other day and and uh, that player is none other than Don Drysdale and uh, you may wonder why would I be interested in doing a Don Drysdale run. Um, part of the reason why is because uh, you know, Drysdale and Eddie Matthews, uh, they had such a, a connection. Um, you know, the Dodgers and the Braves were uh, fierce rivalry uh, during their playing days and uh you know drysdale came up as a rookie in 56 57 and uh, eddie matthews was already a pretty well established uh player by that time you know he was one of the premier players in the national league uh you know willie mays of course being being the, the best but you know eddie matthews was probably a top five player at that time in the national league and and uh don drysdale was a ferocious competitor and uh Right off the bat, they had issues. Uh, Drysdale was known to pitch inside. Uh, he was known really as quite a, a if not a, I'm not going to say he was a beanball thrower, but he was certainly a, a brushback pitcher, and he really worked to establish the inside of the plate. And uh, Eddie Matthews and Don Drysdale, they had many run-ins. Uh, one of the most notorious fights, I believe, happened in the 57 season. When Drysdale had beaned uh, Johnny Logan, Johnny Logan told Drysdale, next time you slide into second base, or next time you come into second base, you're going to pay the price. And uh, Drysdale looked at Logan and said, let's take care of it right now. And, uh, well, Eddie Matthews was on deck. And uh, as soon as Logan went to the mound and Matthews sprinted out to the pitcher's mound and he uh, walloped Drysdale four times, uh, the last punch being right to the throat. And, uh, there was a picture in the New York Times, I believe, of Duke Snyder uh, grabbing Eddie Matthews by the ankles, dragging him off of Don Drysdale. And uh, from that point on, uh, their rivalry was awfully intense. Drysdale was a big man. He uh, was, a, was a big guy, six feet, five inches tall. And uh, he led the National League and hit batsmen for four seasons, uh, from 58 to 61, and then again in 65. And he hit 154 batsmen which is a modern-day National League record. So Don Drysdale uh, was a great pitcher, an interesting guy. And uh, that's the linkage, I guess, between the Braves and the Dodgers and certainly Eddie Matthews and Don Drysdale. And here you see his rookie card uh, from 1957. I got a really good deal on this because of the off-centering. And uh, I'm probably going to look to replace it at some point. That's uh, really, really off-centered. But the rest of the card is pretty sharp. Uh, for a 57 uh, very not excessive amounts of snow but a nice card and and uh, you can see that he was the dodgers expert giant killer this year and uh that was his first year you can see he came up with bakersfield in 54 then montreal in the national international league and then finally with brooklyn in 1956 where he went uh, five and five at 55 strikeouts and 31 base on balls and uh so this is Don Drysdale's rookie card. Pretty nice card. I picked this up in a trade with another fellow YouTuber. YouTuber. Uh, this is a 58 um, Drysdale. Nice PSA 5. I really enjoyed this uh, picture. It's almost the same um, photo as the 57. Very, very similar. And uh, Except for the hats are obviously different. This is the first year with the LA Dodgers. And... Uh, just a nice card. You can see that he went uh, 17 and nine in that year, and he really established himself um, as a pitcher. Look at that, 148 strikeouts. And uh, Don was the leading Dodger hurler in wins last year. He placed third in the senior circuit. And, uh, number four man in strikeouts, nine complete games, and four shutouts. And you can see his uh, size. He was six five and 205 pounds. And this here was the recent pickup that I had. Uh, got this really nice PSA 7, 1959. Just a really sharp card, pretty well centered. Um, one little spot right there, little white, actually that little line right there. And uh, so I just got this today and uh, really happy with it. A nice 59 card and it's kind of weird seeing the, the, the backdrop, probably maybe of the LA Coliseum. Uh, and uh, just a nice card, and I kind of like the cartoon on the back here. Don's nickname is Air Dale, drawn Derise, 
Airedale. Airedales are big dogs, and uh, our neighbors had one years ago. And uh, they're, they're pretty big dogs, but uh, you can see here Drysdale again. He was uh, 12 and 13 for the Dodgers in 58. Kind of had a rough year, but I, the, the uh, right up on the back, one of the brightest spots in the Dodgers 58 campaign was the way that Don made the Braves holler uncle. He beat the Milwaukee team five times. And, uh, so I know that was probably <laughs> probably fueled the rivalry some more uh, between Drysdale and the Braves and, and really Eddie Matthews. So that's the 59 cards. So those three cards from the from the 50s I have. And uh, I need to get a 60 All-Star and a 60 regular card. And I've uh, been looking for them. They're a little bit expensive because they're kind of in the high numbers for the 60s. But uh, here's this really nice 61 uh, Drysdale, just again, a nice portrait, and, uh, just a solid card. And, uh, the 61 set has kind of grown on me a little bit. You can see uh, he went 15 and 14 for him. So his career, you know, he's at 66 and 54 at this point. And uh, have this nice uh, 1961, the uh, 60 strikeout leaders with uh, Drysdale, 246. Koufax, 197, then Jones, and Brogillo. But uh, just a nice card. So many of the 60s league leader cards, you're going to see Drysdale and Koufax on there. And uh, you know what a one-two combination they were. And the thing I liked about this is it shows the uh, strikeout leaders all the way back from 1900 to 1960. And you can see Drysdale in 59 and 60. And uh, Robin Roberts, 53 and 54. You can see Spawn there in 49, 50, 51, then again in 52. And uh, Johnny Vandermeer, 41, 42, 43. So it's just kind of interesting to look back at some of those names. Uh, look at Dizzy Dean there, uh, 32, 33, 34, and 35. And Vance for the Brooklyn team. He's 22 all the way up to 28. Quite an interesting group of names there. Christy Matthews in 1910. You get an 07, 08. And, uh, see, I, I do like the league leader cards. Very interesting cards. And looking to pick up some more of those as we go along. And uh, I have the 62. Um, this is a really nice card. Um, a little bit off-centered, but very little snowing, if no snowing on this card at all. And... Uh, the 62, sometimes you see is, there's a little bit of snowing on them, and uh, actually a little bit of dust on there, I guess. But uh, just a really, really nice card, the 62 Drysdale. And, uh, you can see the corner just a little bit dinged up on the corners, but uh, just a, a good card to look at. Very enjoyable card to look at. And uh, You can see here, uh, talk about the World Series. Don won a game in the 59 World Series and pitched in both All-Star games. Um, he was 13 and 10 in that year of 61. Again, 162 strikeouts. That put him over 1,000 strikeouts for the uh, for his career. So that's a really nice card, that 62. And, uh, I need the 63. I have this uh, 64 raw that I need to get sent off and uh, get graded. Again, a really nice card. And uh, this nice 67 dry sale. I've always kind of liked the uh, the look of this card. Just a very nice card. And, uh, for a decade, Don's been the top right-hander for the Dodgers pitching staff. Truly a workhorse. He's pitched 300 more innings per season. Now, you'll never see that again. And uh, a year in 66. Six, he had a losing record actually for the Dodgers, 13 and 16. But look at that 65 season, he was 23 and 12. ERA for the career right at 3.0. And uh, 2,111 strikeouts. You know, I have this uh, 68 Drysdale on a raw card, really nice. I got this from B. Roth at, uh, at Strongsville. And, 
Just a nice card. Need to send this off to get it graded. I've said that before. Uh, brilliant right-hander, baseball's top pitcher in 62. Um, and, and he had a really, again, 67. He was 13 and 16. And um, his career was starting to wind down here for him. And then this is his last card, the uh, 1969. And uh, just a nice card. Nice portrait. And uh, Don set two records in 68 when he hurled, when he pitched six straight shutouts and hurled 58 and two thirds consecutive scoreless innings. And uh, that record was broken by Oral Hershiser. Uh, I believe in 19, it was during the 80s when Hershiser broke that record. So, and, uh, he finished up with a 204 wins here, 2,400 strikeouts. But, yeah, Drysdale was a, a great, great player, and uh, for me, I'm just always so interested in his uh, dust-ups he had with Eddie Matthews and, and with the uh, the Milwaukee Braves, and uh, he finished up, like I said, 209 wins and 166 losses, and uh, for me, I don't really remember Drysdale. I was seven years old when he retired in 1969, but I remember him mainly as a announcer. Um, he uh, did games for NBC, I think, in 77, ABC from 78 through 86. And then he finished up as a announcer with the Los Angeles Dodgers from 88 to 93. And I didn't know this here, but I looked it up, and he also worked uh, some football broadcasts. And uh, he covered college football games, and uh, he did some work on Wild World of Sports. Uh, he... Covered the 1979 World Series, and uh, you know, so Drysdale had quite a uh, quite a broadcasting career. And, uh, unfortunately, um, Drysdale died fairly early, uh, July 2nd of 1993, in Montreal, and he uh, had a heart attack. And uh, the team was loading up to go to the to the stadium, and he never showed up. And uh, so they went up and they found him, and he had been dead in his room and uh he was not very old uh when he died and drysdale he uh he married ann myers uh, she was quite a basketball player her brother was dave myers uh, from ucla ann myers was one of the early uh, great women basketball players and uh they had uh, i believe three kids and uh they were all pretty pretty athletic uh with him as a dad and Ann Myers as the mother. And, um, the thing about Drysdale, though, he was he was a tough pitcher. He didn't back down from anybody. And you can read many, many quotes um, about him and owning the inside of the plate and, and really almost demanding to have the uh, hitter's respect of that. And uh, uh, Frank Robinson talked about, <laughs> he said he felt like almost like a dancing bear in the batter's box, uh, kind of moving in and out. And... Uh, he would pretty much just straight up tell players, you know, that I'm coming to the inside, and uh, and he did. And uh, players, a lot of them hit the, paid the price because he hit a lot of players, and uh, also had quite a few confrontations on the mound, all between the lines. Though I guess you know, uh, Drysdale was a, a pretty well respected player outside of the lines. But uh, just wanted to show an update here on my Drysdale run and, and this recent pickup here um, of the 19. 59 Drysdale real happy to have that and uh, I'm going to be looking for the 60 regular and the all-star card like I said they're both from the higher numbers so they're a little bit expensive but looking to find the right ones and uh well I'm sure I'll see some at the national but we'll see uh see how that goes and just taking my time trying to build this run but uh, hope you've enjoyed this kind of look here at Don Drysdale and and uh just talking about his career and what a, what a great player he was and uh, him and Koufax were were boy what a what a tandem what a duo they were uh, really the late 50s into the 60s and uh, they were a pretty anemic hitting team the Dodgers were but their pitching staff with Drysdale and Koufax was a second to none um, through the late 50s into the mid 60s all right everyone we'll have a great uh, night enjoy the hobby and keep on collecting and we'll talk to you later